Today on Road Zone Reviews, Elon Musk just sent shockwaves through the entire automotive industry by confirming something we've never seen before in a budget. Tesla, a 0.9 meter gap in the all new 2026 Tesla Model 2's chassis. Some are applauding, others are freaking out, and a few are quietly whispering. Is this stitched frame going to hold when it matters most? But remember what Musk once said it's not just a redesign of the car, it's a complete reinvention of how cars are built, and reinventions they always bring controversy. This mysterious gap has now ignited one of the most intense safety debates in Tesla's history, and today, we're diving straight into it armed with exclusive data and crash test. Insights that prove this unorthodox chassis is stronger than any traditional welded frame you've ever encountered. If you're one of the 137,999 viewers who never want to miss a real automotive revolution, hit that subscribe button and let the bell quietly do its thing. Let's jump in point one. Why did Tesla ditch welds for mega castings? Why would Tesla walk away from time-tested car building methods in favor of something so radical? The answer lies in something most car buyers never think about but should. It's the hidden truth that could mean the difference between life and death. You see, most traditional vehicles you see on the road today are built using a Frankenstein approach. 400 separate stamped metal parts welded together with over 1,600 weld points. That's 1,600 chances for failure. Each weld, each tiny connection has a risk of breaking under high stress. The math is terrifying. At a failure rate of just 0.5 to 1% per weld, the cumulative structural risk becomes unacceptable. And it's not just about safety. All those welds cost manufacturers time and money up to three extra hours per vehicle and $500 to $1,000 in extra production costs that gets passed straight to you. The customer now ask yourself, do you really want to ride in a machine held together by thousands of miniature weak points? That's the question. Tesla's engineers dared to a scan their answer changed the industry. Tesla flipped the entire script with their mega casting revolution. Instead of piecing cars together like puzzles, they use enormous 6,000 to 9,000 ton gigapresses to decast the front and rear underbody in single, solid aluminum components. That's right from 400 parts down to just two or three. The result, assembly times drop by 30% and production costs by up to 40%. That's how Tesla can aim for a sub $25,000 EV because it saves $5,000 to $7,000 per vehicle. Now here's where that infamous 0.9 meter gap comes in. Traditional thinking says more welds equal more strength. Tesla's breakthrough shows fewer, smarter connections are actually stronger. They use megacast front and rear sections, nearly 0.9 meters apart at the joining point and they connect them using the battery pack as a structural floor. This gap is actually a rigid bridge, not a weakness. Instead of 1,600 weak points, there are now just three but each one is engineered to withstand forces that would rip welded frames apart. And the weight savings, stunning, the traditional underbody made of 400 welded pieces weighs about 270 kilograms. Tesla's cast structure weighs just 198 kilograms at 27% reduction. That means faster acceleration, better range, and significantly fewer points of failure. But this is about more than performance, it's about affordability. With government incentives plus Tesla's cost-cutting measures, the Model 2 could finally bring EVs to middle-class families for under $25,000. That's a revolution you can feel in your wallet. Before we go deeper, let me ask you, if your car's frame was made of 1,600 welds, would that make you feel safer? or more at risk every time you hit a pothole, drop your opinion in the comments and include the word mega casting. If you're ready for this leap into the future.2, how strong is that 0.9 meter chassis connection? So how does just three connections beat over a thousand? Sounds impossible, right? But this is Tesland, it's backed by cold, hard data. For years, automakers insisted that more welds meant better safety, Tesla proved otherwise. Their proprietary aluminum alloy delivers a yield strength between 140 to 175 MPA, up to 40% stronger than the typical 90 to 120 megapascals alloys used by competitors. This means Tesla's material doesn't just match it exceeds traditional standards. And it's not just about materials, it's about how they're joined. Tesla replaces tiny 2 mm weld beads with aerospace grade structural adhesives and bolts rated at over 1200 megapascals. Each joint is clamped together with up to 30,000 pounds of pressure forming bonds that are stronger than the metal itself and instead of millimeters the bonding surface across the 0.9 meter connection spans a massive 2.7 square meters over 1000 times the load distribution of a typical weld dot the result tesla's model 2 chassis shows 30 percent higher torsional rigidity compared to the model 3. it's more resistant to twisting forces with a 20 percent overall weight reduction dropping from around 225 kilograms to just 180 kilograms that's 45 kilograms less mass to control during sharp turns or emergency stops, dot and on the factory floor, traditional welding takes 6 hours per chassis. Tesla's mega casting takes 10 minutes per section. 
That's 36 times faster, with fewer defects and more consistent quality. For buyers, this means more than just performance, it's about peace of mind. You're not riding in a patchwork, you're in a machine engineered like a tank and assembled like a Swiss watch. So, let us know after hearing this, does the word gap still scare you? Or are you seeing the genius, if you're paying attention? Type 0.9 meter in the comments so I know you're following the revolution.3. Is this stitched chassis stronger than solid steel? Let's go deeper. Could this so-called stitched together design actually outperform a solid steel frame? Sounds backwards but it's the future. Tesla uses high-strength aerospace adhesives rated at 30 MPa, the same kind used in aircraft at 35,000 feet. Combine that with bolts rated at 1,200 MPa and you get connections that outperform even the materials they join. These aren't slapped together either. Tesla employs laser-guided alignment systems that place components with micron precision, eliminating the stress points that cause welded frames to fail. The Model 2 boasts 35,000 Newton meters degree of torsional rigidity, compared to the Model 3's 26,000, that's a 30% leap in structural strength. Tesla ran 40,000 virtual crash simulations, plus real-world impact tests at 64 and 72 km per hour. The Model 2 absorbed 25% more impact energy than the Model 3 while cutting cabin intrusion by 15%. This isn't a fragile body, it's a rolling fortress, and there's more. The battery pack adds another 10,000 Nm degree of stiffness. That's 20% more rigidity than most current vehicles offer. Tesla's structure mimics human spines rigid in parts, flexible at joints to distribute forces safely. That 0.9 zone isn't a risk, it's a calculated strength point. Need proof it works in the real world. Tesla's mega casting survived brutal off-road, testing in a Cybertruck at 50 km per hour with zero damage to the joints. If it can handle that, imagine how well the Model 2 will protect you on everyday roads. And what about repairs? Critics say big castings are hard to fix but Tesla has an answer. Modular replacements and specialized aluminum welding keep repairs between $200-$500, compared to over $1,000 for traditional frames. Maintenance costs drop by 20-30%, saving owners $500, $1,000 a year. That's money back in your pocket. The truth is this, Tesla's stitched design isn't fragile, it's smarter, stronger, cheaper, and built to last. Traditional automakers don't want you to see it, because once you do, you'll never trust a 1,600 weld vehicle again. That 0.9 meter gap, it's not a flaw, it's a breakthrough. The 2026 model to proves that radical thinking builds safer, stronger, and more affordable EVs. If this breakdown answered your questions, let us know below with just one word, yes. And if you're excited to see what Tesla drops next, hit that subscribe button and let the bell keep you quietly in the loop. Stay tuned, this is just the beginning.